Hi there is welcome to my channel. It's Becky here gracing your online screen with another interesting video and welcome to my kitchen. Yay! Guys, this is the first time I will be filming or starting a video in my kitchen. And yeah, that is because this video is going to be all about food 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 so as you can already see from the title of this video i want to share with you guys what i eat in a day to stay healthy and to boost breast milk supply in case you don't know in case you are new in case you just joined the family or in case you don't know generally i recently had a baby a beautiful baby girl tirenio lua and yeah as a breastfeeding mother of course you know we're always looking out for things to eat to nourish us and nourish our baby and also to boost milk supply which is very very important as a breastfeeding mother so guys this i don't want to start bringing up my breastfeeding struggles in this video that's going to be a story for another video if you guys want to see if you guys would like to watch my breastfeeding story let me know in the comment section. I actually went through some kind of struggle when I just had my baby like the first few days. I would be willing to share it with you guys. If you guys would like to see that video, let me know in the comment section. So yeah, I kind of like found my way around it, found some things I should eat, some things that I should do to, you know, help boost breast milk supply. And that is what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video right now so if you're new to my channel feel free to click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you can get free notifications whenever i upload a new video so guys let's get right into the video so without wasting much time i'm going to be showing you what i'm taking for breakfast this morning and as you can already see from the ingredients i am going to be taking noodles and this has always been my favorite brand of noodles guys for a very long time now they used to have this onion flavor that i really like but for some reason it has not been in the market i don't know why so i'm doing making use of this one today i make i'm going to be using the cheeky chicken flavor delicious taste yeah it's really delicious i like it and i have always been using it and i'm also going to be using pepper i'm going to be using onions and eggs of course so yeah i always liked my food to be very proteinous i like my food to be spicy as well which is why i'm going to be using this quantity of pepper and onions i love onions in my food so let's get cooking is that but if you're a breastfeeding mother and you're looking for something to try out you might want to try it out but yeah as the video goes on i'm going to be showing you the meals that i specifically take to boost breast milk supply 
noodles is just what i want to have this morning yeah because i also like to have eggs so i always have eggs in my indomie in my noodles as well and yeah that's what i'm having this morning i try to take as much water as possible which is very important so i'm just going to dig into my noodles madame is awake mama she woke up while i was still filming <laughs> tell you guys i'm going to be sharing with you what i eat in between meals that specifically boost breast milk supply and this is one of them it is called tiger nuts and it is really nutritious as you can see i'm already eating it <laughs> oh my goodness it is really nutritious and it's also helped to boost breast milk supply guys this is every nursing mother's miracle you'll be eating this if you're a nursing mother a new mom you should be taking this there are two ways you can take it you can extract the milk i do that most of the time i have somewhere i get tiger nut milk and then i drink it that's like that's the best method i would recommend if you are uh, if you're going through lack of breast milk supply and you really want something that will work really fast go and take tiger nut milk guys it is it is awesome it works and it works well but on those days where you can't extract the milk or where you can't get somewhere to buy the milk then you can just go for the nut itself chew it extract all the milk out of it swallow it digest it and it is really good really really good and it tastes nice too so i don't know how popular this is in other countries but it is really popular in nigeria so yeah it is mostly grown in the north the northern part of nigeria and then distributed all over the country i love it people love it i know when we were when we were still growing up we call it ofu so it's when i was growing up i now knew it was called tiger nuts i never knew it was called tiger nuts so yeah this is what i'm taking in between breakfast and lunch it's really good for breastfeeding mothers and even if you're not breastfeeding guys this is really really good mm, can you hear that Lunch is served. My favorite semo and egusi soup. So you can come and join me if you can because I'm about to dig in. This 
deliciousness oh my god mm. I feel like I should film a mukbang video very soon if you'd like to see a mukbang video give this video a thumbs up Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm having for lunch. Semo, igusi soup, meat, fish. <laughs> I love chicken pepper soup guys i love it because chicken is a good source of protein and yeah the spices of pepper soup contains also some nutritious ingredients that is good for me and my baby so i like to have it at least twice a week or even more so that's what i'm going to be having today as you can see i have my boiled chicken here i have this is chicken um this is pepper soup spice pepper soup spice and I have my ground up pepper here. I have salt, seasoning cube. I'm just going to be using one cube because I already have um, seasoning cube in my chicken. And then I have some bitter leaf here. I'm not going to be using everything. You can use um, scent leaf if you want. That's what I use sometimes, but I don't have access to that. When I don't have access to that, I have these plants in my compound, so I just go there cut some and you know have it in my pepper soup so yeah that's what i'm going to be having for dinner so guys i try to eat dinner latest by 6 30 yeah, because I don't want to eat too late at night. I'm going to show you guys the last thing I eat at night before I go to bed. As you can see, it's already getting dark. So yeah, this is not, it's not too thirsty yet. This is just some minutes after six. And I think I should take my dinner now since it's already ready. Since it's already ready. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> to you the last meal of the day although it's not yet time for me to take oats because i take it that's the last thing i take before going to bed but i'm trying to film i'm trying i'm filming now because it's going to be dark and you know i won't be able to film in the dark <laughs> so that's why i'm filming now so for this so for the last meal of the day i'll be using oats i love this brand of oats this is cheer up oats because there was a time I was trying to get Quaker oats and it was really scarce. Like I found, I looked for it everywhere. I looked for it everywhere. I couldn't find it. So I had to opt for this brand. And since then, I've been loving it. So this is what I use. Then I use milk and I use some bananas as well. I don't use sugar in my oats. Okay, let me confess. Sometimes I do. I do use sugar. But today I'm not going to be using sugar. So this is going to be the last meal of the day so i just wanted to come in here and let you guys know how important oats is like i take it every day every single day since i discovered it you know when i just like when i just gave birth they prescribed ogi for me i was taking pap that's pap ogi is pap i was taking pap like <laughs> i'll drink a full bowl of pap and nothing was happening but when I tried oats, it really, really worked for me. It worked well for me. So I think different people have different things that work for them. I've heard people say yam work for them. I've heard people say pap. I've heard people say tea. You know, different things. But oats is what did the magic for me. So I take oats every night because I must, I have to pump breast milk for my daughter before going to work in the morning so i take oats every night and before i wake up in the morning guys it's like magic <laughs> like magic seriously so yeah that's what i take that's my last meal of the day so 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's almost getting dark. It's time for us to start taking our bath and all of that. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, 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 thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.